Welcome back to TV Talk on Collins Cosmos. How are you today? I am great. How are, are you? you? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm a little the... hot in this in this. Shoba, do you have anything on underneath it? I no, just got I a do glimpse. Not. Nope. I'm totally and I, look at how hairy I am. I haven't shaved in quite a while. Oh. Yeah. I got a wildebeest over here. Wildebeest. So mm. you guys. So we have a lot to cover. So I kind of feel like we have a little bit to cover. Tavia was writing down because we we Talk all the time, so she was right. writing down in her notes what we needed to talk about so that she could remember. Right, because then it's like a thing, right? you know? Anyways, so let's just jump into this. Okay. Had a little bit of a possible baby in my belly scare. <laughs> I've been dying. What? I know. What? I know. I've been like dying to talk to you about it, but I like had to write it down. I was like, pregnancy. Oh. Okay, start from A to Z, what happened? Okay, so on Monday, last Monday, a couple days ago, anyways, my mom comes home with the girls and she's like, do you have something you need to talk to me about? And I'm like, uh, not that I know of. And she's like, do you have any big news to share? I'm like, uh, again, no, not that I know of. And she goes, well, Olivia told us you're pregnant. And I'm like, Olivia, that's my oldest, I was like, why would you tell people that I'm pregnant? She's like, not people, just grandma and grandpa. I'm like, but why? She's, yeah, where did you get this she from? She goes, because you are pregnant. I was like, what? And she goes, mom, there's a baby in your belly. And then I'm like, do I look pregnant? Like, what's happening here? And she's just like, like touching my stomach, like wouldn't let it go. Well, they say that kids have like an intuition, right? Well, mine, you know, mine are just connected to the other world. Yeah, that's true. Uh-huh. So then she kind of thought it was funny because we're all laughing and she just poking Carried the bear. Yeah. Right, yeah. So I was like, whatever, just drop it. <clears throat> and then that night she woke up and crawled into the bed and she was in that like, I'm awake, but I'm asleep slumber Yeah. to where you could ask her if she killed somebody and she would tell you the truth. Right. So I was like, Olivia, it was like 1.30 in the morning. I go, Olivia, why are you telling people mommy's pregnant? She goes, because you are pregnant. And like dozing Wait, off. First of all, what were you doing up at 1.30 in the morning? Because she crawled into my bed oh, okay. and woke me up. Okay. Not making, I wasn't making a baby. Okay. God only she knows. crawled into my bed. And I was like, why are you telling people? She goes, just grandma and grandpa and you are pregnant. And I was like, Olivia. And she goes, mom, I'm the only one that can see the baby. <gasps> Die! Die! And so then Luke goes like this, pops up, turns and looks at me and I go, mm-hmm. And I rolled over and went to bed. Right? So then. Oh my gosh. I know. So that was, that was a few days ago. And then yesterday, I've just been so tired. I told you. Like, I've been working out every day. Right. Which should give me energy. Well. Ish. Yeah. Exhausted. Yesterday, I got my lashes done. Listening to Sarah talk to me about her life and things that are going on. And I literally fell asleep, like snoring, for 30 minutes on the table. She woke me up. I was exhausted all day. And I told her the story and she goes, well, you're tired all the time, you said. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm tired all the time. And then this, this baby thing. So then it was just all day yesterday. And then I told Luke and he goes, okay, I think it's time. To pee on the stick. To pee on the stick. Yeah. And so I did. And it's a negative. <laughs> Oh, but I told oh Sam because I was like, I have to tell, call, I have to tell someone. Yeah. But I couldn't tell you, so yeah. I was like, Sam. Yeah. Tell. What did Sam say? She was like, Oh my god, go be on a stick right now. And I was like, Okay, well, I'm dr I'm working. I'm yeah. still out with people. I can't just like go to Walgreens. It you was could. I would go. I would, if I was a woman, I would probably run to Wal Walgreens, buy a pregnancy test, take it in the bathroom, oh, lock god. myself in, occupied. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna cry. You, you probably take it with your husband, though, right? Or do you take no, it? No, I just peed on it and was just like. Oh. <sighs> so okay, so a lot of people don't know the backstory about my kids can talk to the dead. Well, no, that your your spiritual advisors. Oh, all right. I told you. Yeah, I've had three spiritual advisors tell me that there's a third baby coming. Right. And then one is said fall of 2020. Right. That's like now. Right. Yeah. Um, and then... So I think this is why your sen senses are heightened. We're on high alert right now. Yeah, and Luke's going in for his snippety snip next week. So, so it's, it's between now and that wall, and then... I but then know he this. doesn't shoot blanks for a while. I know, I didn't know this. How many times is it? 45? It's like... No, it's like 24, maybe. Oh, okay. So it could possibly be two years. <laughs> <laughs> 45 
before he's done. <laughs> but depending on how active you are, it could be two years. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So anyways, and then my small one months ago, remember, had her little friend. Right. That yep. only she could see. Yep. Who's well, a baby who wants to join our family, she told us. spiritual advisor said that they know that the baby's coming or something. Yeah. Right or they, they yeah. hang out with the baby. And side story, I don't tell my kids about the spiritual advisor and the things that they say. Well, they wouldn't like, understand it. Right, I don't sit them down and say, you guys are the only people that know that there's a baby coming. Right, they right. bring it up. Like, it, where were we? Qdoba. Yeah, yeah, we were having lunch in Savannah. We just started talking about, oh yeah. Will Will. Yeah, William. William. Will Will. Mm -hmm. And he, um, he's a spirit baby who climbs buildings. <laughs> that was funny. And then so she's like, that's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> and then she says that he, she like gives him tasks to do all night in her sleep and it takes him forever. I was like, okay, she's bossy. I mean, she's bossing the sweet little. does not fall for a the, the ghost baby. <laughs> she's, she's wow, bossing so the ghost that's crazy. Baby. I need to digest this for a minute. So Olivia just came out of nowhere and said, did she say it was a boy? Oh, and to top it off, no, she didn't say it was a gender. But to top it off that night, before she crawled in my bed, that night that I was putting her to bed, I bent down kissing her. I stood up and she grabbed me by the waist and kissed my tummy. I was like, good night. And I was like, okay, stop, you're done. And I like, pay, pay, pay Put my palm in her face and was wow. like, you're done. Wow, that's intense. I know. I just feel like now I really need to read. Because I'm like... I think so. Ugh. I think it's time. I know. I think it's time. Because your last one was last March, right? No. My last astro read was like 17 before I left. Um, so it was like November of 17. Um, and everything that I have written down stops of March of 2020. I think it's time That's to like in a few months... And apparently, Spirit Baby is lurking. Wow. I know. And guess who's coming to town? Who? You know that Tyler Henry, the Hollywood medium? Yeah. March 13th, Pepsi Center. So then I was like, I'm buying tickets. And then I was like, Wait, oh, Pepsi I Center. How does that work, though, with that big read like that? I don't know. I don't know. But then I thought to myself, absolutely not. Friday the 13th, I'm not going to go see some psychic read on Friday is the that, 13th. Is that bad you do? I just don't. I read. don't like Friday the 13th. You're making a lot of noise. For okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So that was my, screeching noises. That was my, like, wow, so that was a big possible one. baby. Like, and then I was so nervous. And then last night we were laying in bed and I said, Luke. What were your feelings? And he's like, I was nervous. I was like, but was it the excited nervous or the like, oh fuck, nervous? Yeah. He's like, I don't know, just nervous. I was like, no, that's not a thing. Like, that's one or the other. What was your feeling? I was, I was kind of on the like, oh fuck, nervous. Yeah. Because you, I think you come to terms a little bit yeah. about like not having a third baby. Yeah. But I feel like there's this conflict because. You feel like because the outer world and right. all of the stars and everybody involved right. wants this being to enter right. the world. Yeah. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. I mean, lock me in a room right now. I'm so nervous. Yeah. And then Luke's like, oh, we'll have a seven-year-old and a five-year-old. It's start over, and I already don't sleep, you know. He's dramatic. Yeah. But he would love that baby. Oh, of course we would. It would be the one that loves me. <laughs> the rest of them don't. So it could be like the, the one and only. Daddy's girls. Yeah, but I don't think I want a boy because I just went to the gymnastics last night and all the little boys are so odd. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? I don't that? know. Like they're just like okay, run from there to there, but they can't run without like slapping everything along the way. And yeah. Like, one little boy, like every time he was said he'd lay on the ground, he'd put his hands behind his knees and he's like, "Listen to me." And he'd like make some farting noise. I'm like, who does that? Boys. Boys, yeah. I think you would probably have a gay son, so oh, it wouldn't be quite as intense. Just love that little nugget right. so much. Right, yeah. He'd be wearing your high heels and, you know, <laughs> like, trying to play in your makeup and stuff. It'd be a little different. It'd be like a girl, but not a girl. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. Wow. Well, that was a lot. So what else is on the agenda? Oh. Are you going to look? There, yeah, I wrote notes. Hold on. Okay. Can't oh, look, can't look, can't okay. Look. Here's my real question. Massages. Okay. Do we feel like there's an underlying rule about if you wear panties or not in a massage? Okay. So I what do, that means? I do not wear underwear because I feel like if you don't wear underwear, they just go exploring. Yes. <laughs> they 
six. And I don't like that. Oh, wait, so you do wear underwear. I do, I do, I do, yeah. Oh, okay, so I also feel like when you don't wear underwear, you're more likely to get a nice glute massage. Right, correct. Or which a I do little not like. bit longer, like into your thigh massage, like upper thigh, outer thigh. Did somebody touch your so, vagina? Nobody touched me. <laughs> <laughs> but the other night, I, Luke got me a massage right. on Sunday. Yeah, for your date and, night. Yeah, and so I was like, I'm sore. I'm going to try my theory. And I, I, I didn't wear undies. Okay. Do you usually wear undies? Or I wear, not? yeah, I normally just wear a thong. Okay. But then like. So it's like, it's like they a can, tease. They can <laughs> see it. It's like, I'm wearing underwear, but I'm not really wearing yeah. underwear. Yeah. So they see it normally because when they like unfold you, right, they can right. see it. So yeah. then they're like, all right, stopping. Like that's the gate to stop. I don't know if a thong is the gate. Well, that's the gate. And so I did it and he was like, down with my back. And he's like, it was a man. He's like, would you like a glute massage today? And I was like. Well, why, yes, I would. Okay. And so then it was like elbows in my butt cheek. And I was like, okay, I think it's because I wasn't wearing undies. I think but it's I a But I think total if thing. you wear undies, it's like a, a boundary. Right, yeah, totally. Is that what it is? I think so. That's so been my theory. I have a massage coming up on Monday. Another one? Yeah, for the team. I'm going on that oh, team retreat. Right, yeah. Spa day, facial massage. But so TV's on a... a uh, real estate team. Yeah. So they're going up to Steamboat yeah. for like a team building thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And we're doing a spa day. And so I'm wondering if I should test it again. Yeah. And go no undies and see if I get the butt massage. I think I think so. And okay. Then and I'll make somebody results. I'll make somebody else wear undies. Yeah. You know Lisa will wear those. Right. Lisa yeah. will wear undies. I don't like going naked. I just feel like It does make me feel a little like exposed. But not like my thong really like right, traps yeah, anything, anything in there. I think it's so funny because like, if you put yourself in a massage therapist's shoes, I feel like they see bodies all the time. Like it's probably just like a, a car, like a car at the, at the auto mechanic, right? It's just like whatever. This like, one's hairy. This most, one's exactly. <laughs> most of the time you don't have like a great person with a great body, you know? I wonder, I always wonder I, if they have, like if they get like somebody hot, if they're like, ooh, <laughs> this is going to be a good one. I do. Too. like that's my question like I always wonder I'm like what if somebody just like so hot came in yeah and you had to massage their body I would I would you I would wouldn't die. be good at I would, <laughs> you would be like, I mean, like oh, oops. oh my god <laughs> oops oops sorry 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 I would sorry. die I would be horrible at it. sorry that was but my then, on the on the opposite side if somebody gross came in and I had to like massage like in between like two warts with hairs on it or <laughs> in between clothes <laughs> I don't know if I'd be great at that either. I just need a good, even keel person. Like it's a normal, body. normal person. Average body. Right, yeah, and then I think I'd be fine. Not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> <laughs> I do always wonder, like, it's like the day that you, like, almost don't shave your legs, and then you're like, wait, I'm getting a massage, and they're just gonna, like, massage my prickly haired legs. Yeah. Or the worst is armpits. Sometimes I forget. Like, I'll, I'll shave my legs, but I'm like, didn't think about my armpits. Yeah. And then I get there, and I'm naked, and I crawl in, and I look, and I'm like, oh, no. There's a little hair in there. I don't really care about that. And then they, like, put your arm up, and they're all, like, and you're there, and you're like, oh, that's my armpit. That's got hair. <laughs> I always am concerned that I'm going to get a boner, an erection. Why? I don't know, just because, like, there's, I don't know. There's a lot going on? There's a lot going on. I mean, I never have, but it, it, that, I think that's a... But do you get massaged by a man or a woman? Uh, It's mostly... I would say it's it's mostly women, but it's been a few men. Um, the first massage that I ever got when I was fifteen or sixteen is that when it all sparked. That's when it all started. And he <laughs> definitely I, I didn't wear my underwear. Uh oh, he definitely massage your butt. Yes. <laughs> and did we know we were gay? Uh, yes. And then it just solidified it. No, I don't think it had anything to do with that. Oh, okay. I just it was, and he was gay too, and uh, it was it was he my was taking advantage of you. Well, <laughs> oh my god! I don't know. Maybe <laughs> he didn't uh, touch my butthole or anything, but definitely massaged the butt. But it was my friend's uh, mom's salon. Yeah, and so it was kind of weird because I knew him, and it was my first massage. And they're like, "Go get a massage!" Like, go make it. Is, his name is great. Blah 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 blah. And I was like, "Okay, this is what a massage is about." So that was then, my first. Experience. And then after that, you're like, "I'm gonna wear my panties." Which, by the way, yeah. I saw your picture this morning in your cute little panties. Oh, yeah. I'm losing a little weight. I told you I lost two pounds. You don't look bad in general. Yeah, but I could look a little tired. Couldn't we all? Like, compared to... If you look at my Instagram, Collins Cosmos, if, <laughs> if you compare pictures, like, 
right before I went into this bulk over the holidays, so I was bulking over the holidays, yeah, you bulks. can see that my body looks a lot tighter and a lot firmer than it does now. I wish we could take a poll. Like, I wish there was, like, a button for a poll. Yeah. Like, there's on Instagram, like, let's right. poll this. Yeah. But, and it's crazy <laughs> because you see, like... I see you every day. Well, even I do it too because, like, I'll look at that picture and I'm like, oh, okay, I don't look that bad. But then if you put them side by side... Oh, well, don't Then do you're that. like, don't okay, do that. don't wow, do that. that's <laughs> no, don't big do difference. That. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. I once put my picture next to a high school photo and I was like, oh, oh my God, yeah. I was skinny. Yeah, I think we all were. And then I, I thought I was tiny. like the size of a whole house. <laughs> <laughs> I was convinced I was like the world's largest woman. And then I looked back and I was like, I can see my midriff and it looked good. Yeah. It, it, I just wasn't like... I just wasn't looking like I came from a camp well, where okay. nobody ate. Let me show you an example. Um, because it's kind of... Okay. I don't know if I would be okay. watching this. Okay. Uh oh. Colin is now in his phone. And you okay, never, here we go. So You here's, never look at a gay man's phone. Here's the before. Oh, look at how cute. And then here's the after. You just look like a... Like juicier, right? Bigger human being. Yeah, exactly. I think you resumed. No. I'm definitely, I'm like 10 pounds heavier today. I like 10 pounds heavier, Colin. I do too. 20 pounds heavier? I don't know. We're still figuring that out. <laughs> so. I would love 20, I don't think I want 20 pounds lighter Tavia, but you know, a good 10 would be okay. Yeah. Because I'm 10 pounds heavier than that picture now. I don't want to play that game with you because I don't want to stand on a thing and ever well, but wonder. The, the thing is, yeah, the thing is, like, it, it really isn't about weight. It isn't about the number. It's, it's about how you feel. so because I, good I, in your skin. Because we talked about this the other day, you know, muscle weighs way more than fat. Yeah, my so lower body. You shouldn't look at the scale. You should be like, oh, you know, I feel good. My I stomach love that feels you always and like, stroke your boobs when you talk well, about it. Well, they're, they're there, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. You're gonna laugh. <laughs> so I we went to spin class yesterday and Was the guy there? What guy? The guy oh, that we no, he wasn't I thought he was gonna be okay, so I okay. showered and got cute and no, was it there? First spin? Yeah. Okay. But there's an instructor there that I have had a crush on for a while and I think he has a crush on me. Um at the end of class, because I haven't taken his classes at seven o'clock in the morning. Which Gross. it's hard for me to get up. Yeah. But you know, I went to bed at ten o'clock last night and I got up at six this morning. How'd you feel? I felt great, but the problem is I've become such a night owl. I don't go bed to bed until midnight or one. No, that's bad. And then I sleep until eight. So I need to go to bed earlier. Yeah. But anyway, so I don't, so I went to his class at seven o'clock and at the end of class, I saw him like running over basically. <laughs> and he was like, put his hand on my chest oh. and he was like, good to see you. Oh, <laughs> oh is he like flamboyant? Yeah? No. He's not a, he's not a tutu? No, no. Okay. Maybe yeah. you should show me a picture later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, should I show you a picture now? We can yeah, get, I'll yeah. get get my commentary. The problem is the well, problem is if I keep um, if I keep talking about people in my life, which I think this is what the podcast is about, right? And then I post a link on my actual Instagram called Cosmos. So they're gonna know we talk about them, right? Oh, and that could ruin my game. This is him. Go what ahead and look our, through what? that and talk so that people can hear. Okay, so is he it's that him. one? Yes. Oh, hmm. and that's his husband. Oh, wait, he's married. He's married. Okay, but so... But he's on great... Like, they have an open relationship. No, I him. don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. We've talked about this before. You and Luke have talked about swinging. We have Do not. not. Yes, you have. We just said that that would be weird <laughs> if we tried that. Not weird. Odd. I don't love... I, I, I'm I just going to be honest, because that's... Who, um, mm, no, I don't love the, it. Too many tattoos, right? Yeah, like, why did you tattoo your whole hand and your knuckles? Tavia doesn't really like tattoos. No, that's not true. Reason. I do like tattoos. In I moderation. Have, in my, I have two that <laughs> are really basic. And, mm. like, <laughs> like, you would think you that I was in a sorority, but I wasn't. And, but what I don't love is, like, I like a, ta a good tattoo when it's, like... I like a classy tattoo. And not to say that... Like, a whole sleeve isn't classy, because I think those those can be very classy. I just, there's certain That's areas true, yeah. that I don't like that I want to be off limits. Like, your hands and your knuckles. Yeah. And maybe your neck and your face. Yeah. Yeah, like the neck. Like, when I look at him, I'm like, well, all I see is that big purple flower on your throat. I think it's cute. I like tattoos. I'm guy. not saying that I don't like them. I'm just saying, like, and don't, why, like, the people that tattoo their face? Yeah. Okay. Teardrops. 
<laughs> yeah. Not as much that, but like 303 above their eyebrow. I'm not into it. Yeah. What about the lip? How do you feel about the inside of the lip? So funny. I have a girlfriend. Wait, do you have one? No. Oh. I have a girlfriend who has a very real job, like medical field job. Okay. And they were out drinking and they're playing like some. I don't know, dark game, and they were like, okay, if you lose, like, you have to get a tattoo on the inside of your lip. Well, so they did, and she wanted to get, like, guacamole, and when she got to the thing, he's like, first of all, your lip's too small. Right, to get guacamole. To get guacamole, so pick something new. That's what she picked. And so she has taco. Oh, And he has, wow. he has nachos. Oh, okay. But she didn't realize that taco was, could be a sexual... Like woman thing, yeah, right. For vagina, Did, yeah, didn't get it, and so they're like, "This is gonna wear off. It's on the inside of your mouth. It's not gonna last." Oh, it wears off. Yeah, because because. Sorry, that was me. I don't know why, but like certain tattoos, like if you get them on your feet and stuff, your toes, like your shoes always rub it. So the guy was like, "It's gonna wear off." Okay, to this day, years later, if she flips her lip, it still says taco question mark. So it's still a question mark. Oh my and, god. And she's like, I didn't know that this was like, could be a lesbian thing. It's really a funny story. Like, I would never put taco in my lip. But, well. And she's so cute. You never I'm say never. Pretty sure it's never for me. But, um. Oh, that's what, what else we were going to talk about is um, yep. somebody asked me to do strengths and weaknesses for <gasps> them. Oh. And I'm like, yeah. oh, do I be honest about your strengths and weaknesses? Well, the thing is, I didn't think about this. Like, look at how cute she is. She's got taco. Oh, very cute. I know. She's the best. Wow. And she's got taco on her lip. <laughs> oh, she has two kids? No, no. Those are not hers. Oh. She's an auntie. Okay. Who's that? That's her boyfriend. <laughs> He's so cute. So cute. <clears throat> um, so, anyway, so who, who, um. Oh, strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, so we were going to do it for each other. Oh, we were. So do, who wants Should to go we? first? I don't know. I didn't think about this. Did you think about this? I think that it's more or less for the moment, but I can do it. I don't know if I can. I, I crack under pressure. So you want me to go first? Maybe we do one and one. Like, give a strength, give a strength, give a weakness, give a weakness? What do you or mean? Or just like one. Strength one. Oh, weakness. you don't want me to just total. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I can come up with three. You don't want me just to lay it all out for you, like okay, I got seventeen weaknesses that you got. <laughs> You're like I'm struggling for that one positive, but I have a whole list of weaknesses <laughs> for you. Okay, I would say, let me be honest though, your strength, like it, aside from work, just like life strength, you're like a ride or die. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like me. I'm going to get my right. own strengths because when you when I bring you into my circle, right. it's really hard to let you out of my circle. Like, right. I'm in it to win it. But yeah. we have the same birthday. But I think it's a Pisces thing. I yeah, think we're that you Pisces. Just, if, you, if you love somebody and they're, <clears throat> they're in your world, yeah. like, you just, I want to do anything for that person. I'm not going to give up. Right. Yeah. I might back down a little bit, but I'm not going to give up. So I would say one of your strengths is super ride or die. Okay. Okay. You just want me to do one and one? I'll do one and one. One of your weaknesses... <laughs> You're too excited to say that we. Okay, I have. Okay. Time management, which we've talked oh, about, yeah. is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, and then I'll just gonna. I'm gonna do a bonus one just really quick. <laughs> oh my god, okay. No, sometimes. Sometimes a weakness is that you're too honest. In yeah, a that's harsh true. way. True. And yeah. then you make us cry. Right, yeah. And Sam and I have to say, call it. You're I can being be, a little me. I can be very, it's like, too abrasive, too honest. Yeah, I don't, I'm equally as that way. But I think I just, like, if you want to, if you don't ask me a question unless you want the answer, because I'm going to give it to you. You're running from that side to <laughs> this side with absolutely no lubrication. It is aggressive and it is straight in. That, that is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and, and that's I, what I would give you. I but I need to give you another positive because. Okay. So two and two, two maybe. Weaknesses. Yeah. So I would say another positive for you. There's so many. <laughs> what? I am <laughs> struggling. <laughs> I think this is hard because you always know people's weaknesses other than their positives. But I do think so. What did I say? I, oh, you know the other one I think you are? You're always positive. Am I? I think you are. You don't think you are, but I think you do err on the positive side. Yeah. Like things are going to be okay. Right. In, until you go dark. 
Right. Yeah, we have those. And moments. then you creep around buildings. And <laughs> it's dark, but we're when you're not, <laughs> when yeah. you're medicated, you're positive. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. I love it. All right. Now you're not even gonna know what to say to me. Well, no. So this is kind of about me, though. Are you, I. <laughs> I think a positive with you, with me, is you know how to handle me. Oh, like, and I sometimes, do. like, I, I freak out, or like, if I get overwhelmed, like, I'm a little I need a aggressive. Yeah. And you're just like, okay, it's, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Because <laughs> I, I freak out sometimes. Yeah. So I, that's, you spiral. Yeah, so I think that's, um, and let's see, a negative. I don't like how you suck your straw. <laughs> that's... <laughs> She'll have an ice drink and she'll like try to get the last little sip and it's like <laughs> and it's just like I don't the know, that's worst a weakness. The worst noise. Um No. I don't think I have weaknesses, clearly. No. I, you don't really have a lot. I think you know what, twenty twenty I've been late more than I would like to be. I yeah. think you're rubbing off on me. That's a weakness. Yeah, I, I that's one of my weaknesses that I'm always right. But you're late. never late for lunch. Because I'm starving to death. I'm hungry. I'm hangry. <laughs> okay, so okay. you don't really have a weakness. That, yeah, no. I gotta so, be something. There's gotta be something that you're, um... The noise is back. Um, uh, I don't know. I just love you for all your, oh, all your being. Maybe my, my weakness is... My own weakness is... I have a lot of boxes that I like to put people in. I don't think that's a weakness. It's not? No. Oh. I think maybe a weakness that you have, you get a little judgy sometimes. <gasps> you get a little judgy. If, like, it goes with the box thing. Like, you, like, okay. try to be, like... Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. You know, stick yeah. people in yeah, boxes yeah, yeah, yeah. and be, like... Yeah, I'm a little smudgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm a nice smudge. But you, you, at the same time, you, like, you might be a little judgy, but maybe because you don't understand something or a situation or something yeah. like that, and then, like, you're open but then to, I like, em exploring it. But I embrace right. with yeah. my judge. And normally yeah. I say, I'm judging you, but I still love you. Well, and that's the thing, too. I think that you're very, you're Honest. very, I think that, that, that it's also a strength and weakness. I think that you... I don't understand. <gasps> Sorry. I'm judging you, but I saw you. I think that you're very... Oh, uh, no, she's a crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, I think that's a strength and weakness. I think that you give people the benefit of the doubt and a lot of chances. I do. So I think that's very sweet of you to to see the, the positive side in people, but also I think it's to your detriment because people walk all over you. Yeah, I need to snip, snip, snip. Yeah. Yeah, and cut you out like right. a little, what, paper doll. <laughs> Like, do you trimming the fat? Oh, off let's of, trim the fat. 2020, it's time to trim the fat. Trimming the me. fat off this body. Okay, I think we gotta wrap it up. Oh, yep. oh, oh, yep. oh. All we right, well, that was fun. Yeah. Week three. Did we, did we get through the whole list? Yeah, yeah. that was did my we? list. Okay. Pregnancy scare. All right. All of it. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching us, listening to us, hit the subscribe button, follow our podcast, we upload every Tuesday at 6am, uh, follow me on Instagram, Colin's Cosmos, we're working on Tavia's, follow Colin, we're, we're working on Tavia getting a public Instagram account, no, uh, what else do we want to say? I think that's how the cookie crumbles, okay, that's how the cookie crumbles, is that our new line? I that's think that's my line. line, I kinda like it, okay, okay, <laughs> thank you so much, we'll talk to you on the next one.